Hi everybody. That would be the people watching the recording because I just started this. Nobody has had a chance to actually view it yet live, but that'll be happening any second now. So as the title says, Houston is underwater right now and your healthcare sucks because... Hey Kim, welcome back. Hi Kelly. Hi Jenny. Oh good, a great audience right off the bat. So as the title says, Houston is underwater and your healthcare sucks. And that's still just the tip of the iceberg because of legalized bribery. Hi, Anne. Hi, Sandy. So, I'm personally never ever going to vote for president or senator or anything elected if they're on the take from anybody or anything. If it means I write a name in the ballot box because nobody on the ballot box is free of corruption, so be it. So the floodwaters in Houston, Texas. The extreme of that flood, that is a result of global warming, man-made, specifically ExxonMobil and a few others. In 1979, believe it or not, ExxonMobil's own scientists told them that what they are doing is going to create consequences, disastrous consequences in the future. It will create a cost that the whole world will have to pay for in terms of natural disasters that are greater than they would have been otherwise. ExxonMobil said, okay, Mr. Scientists, thank you, but let's bury this and continue business as usual. So they continued. Again, in 1982, the same thing. Their own scientists told them what was up. Their own scientists were real with them. And they said, yeah, we're going to bury this and continue business as usual. So now, for the past uh, quite a few years, we get the 500-year flood every year or two. Every 500 years has now been condensed to every year or two. We get a natural disaster that's supposed to be once every 500 years. So where does the legalized bribery come in? I think mostly everyone knows, especially after this last election cycle. That's the silver lining in all of this last election cycle. I think more people are aware now than ever before that our politicians are on the take. It's a form of legalized bribes known as donations and that creates an enormous conflict of interest and they never disclose these conflicts which is just says guilty all over the place right i mean if they were innocent they would disclose them but they don't disclose them because they're not innocent in houston right now that city is badly underwater in the last 10 years the waters have risen about a half a foot and when water levels are high, they're going to seep into new places that they wouldn't have seeped into before when there's a flood. And there's more moisture in the air from temperatures going up and more humidity and moisture in the air. So when there's going to be a bad storm, there's going to be more rainfall. Bad flooding, there's going to be more rainfall combined with sea levels rising a half a foot over the last 10 years. The flooding would have happened anyway, but not nearly as badly as it did. Not nearly as badly. And it's happening all over the world, this happens. These 500-year floods happen pretty regularly now. They do. All of the scientists agree, and they can prove it with evidence. And these are the same scientists that told us the eclipse was coming. Nobody questioned it. It's like, yeah, okay, they're right. The eclipse is coming. Everybody got ready for it, and we saw the eclipse, and it was there. These are the same scientists telling this stuff. But the only time...